Up right now at six, our coverage of the historic flooding continues tonight. While our communities have been so generous donating to victims, there's the expectation, though, that our federal government will hopefully help as well. Good evening, and thanks for joining us tonight for the news here at six. I'm Mark Zinni. Now, that help will only come if victims prove how serious things are. Channel 3 Eyewitness News reporter Dylan Fearon is joining us live. He is in Oxford tonight with more on what people need to do. Dylan? Well, Mark, we've been saying it all night that documenting everything is key, taking pictures of all the damage. We've seen it for the last few days. Everyone at home has seen the incredible damage since Sunday night. But the people in this area have lived it. They witnessed it. Now they need to prove to the federal government how dire of a situation this is. Every seat taken at Oxford Town Hall, and it's noon on a Friday, standing room only if you're late. It can only mean one thing. These people who have been through the unthinkable are worried, but they're determined, fighting for their lives. Everything hinges on us being able to say to the federal government that we've had severe damage. And the only way we can make that case is if people actually document that damage. Pictures are crucial. Officials telling victims today, start snapping well-lit photos of your home, of all the damage. Take different angles before any repairs. You need to prove to the government this is a major historic situation. I think it's important to get to the people that, that, that can't get here or aren't savvy with the phone. Oxford's an old town. The state creating a portal for victims to submit their information and pictures. Connecticut will send it to FEMA, and if the damage is extreme enough, will approve federal aid to victims. We have to make the case that we've had enough damage to warrant federal aid. Business owners also desperate for help. Frank Del Mastro owns a restaurant and bar in Seymour, condemned, deemed unsafe. It'll be closed for months. And as soon as you hear flood, the insurance doesn't want to cover everything. In the same shopping plaza, volunteers are helping clear out disgusting debris, hundreds of pounds of items ruined by the unforgiving floodwaters. This dumpster is full of wine, beer, and liquor, red wine dripping from the bottom. Only bees are enjoying this. <clears throat> what do you do? You can't cry over it. I feel so sorry for them. They lost everything almost. And I was just trying to help them out. It's clear thousands need help, and it's up to them to report it. The big question, how long will it take? Oh, I don't want to speculate because we're not even sure we're going to get it, right? So I don't want to start putting a timeline on that. All right, so unclear how long it would take if the federal government approved some of that federal aid, Mark. That's why GoFundMe's other fundraisers in these communities are so key, because that goes directly to the families, and they can get that money extremely quickly. Now, the link to report all of your damage, if you have any, is on our website right now. Just go to WFSB.com. We're live in Oxford tonight. I'm Dylan Fear in Channel 3 Eyewitness News.